Let's head to Washington, D.C. for an underrated player in boys basketball. Ever since Jared Turner was born, his father, Steven, has been coaching at Gonzaga College High School. It's just always been around. I've been hanging around it since I was a little kid. I was basically born in the gym. My first basketball game came after when I was like, I think, maybe like three weeks old. Jared played multiple sports growing up and still plays lacrosse at Gonzaga. But basketball is obviously where his heart is. While the game was never forced on him, it was only natural that he'd be drawn to the sport that his father has been so dedicated to. I kind of feel like he didn't have a choice. So thankfully he really took uh, to the sport. Just a really active, fun-loving kid. I mean, we got him involved in everything from, from the start. I mean, he played soccer, he's played lacrosse, played football, uh, played baseball, and of course he's played basketball. I think he gravitated to it. Basketball became the sport that he loved. I mean, I'm sure it didn't hurt that he had a dad who was in the gym every single day. And he, he's found his own way. And, and we allowed him to make his own choices. Um, and basketball's the one he chose. Because he missed so much of his sophomore season with an injury and COVID cut his junior season short, Jared, who was signed with Northeastern, has flown under the recruiting radar. He's also grown quite a bit physically in the past two years. So he's just beginning to scratch the surface of what type of player he can be. From freshman year to now, I started off coming in against Gonzaga. I think I was barely pushing 6'1", and throughout, now I'm almost 6'8". Still trying to like realize that, oh, I'm 6'8", like I can actually go up to the rim and dunk the ball. So yeah, I, I still have people telling me that, like, oh, why don't you dunk? I'm like, I, I, I just got this body. Like, I, mean, I think he fits what the game is going to. I think his biggest asset is his ability to shoot the ball, and he can shoot it from deep. Um, but I think where things that people miss is that because he shoots it so well, he gets labeled as a shooter but there's way more to his game. I think he has an ability to really see the game, he, his ability to pass the ball, make other guys around him better. He's very unselfish, sometimes to a fault. He's a coach's son. I mean, he's gonna try to do the things that you tell him to do and to play the game the way that it's supposed to be played. While Jared will obviously get associated with his dad quite a bit, he says both parents have helped shape who he is on the court and off. I, she's been my best friend since I was little. I could tell her everything. Yeah, she's just always been there for me. I could talk to her about anything. I could talk to her about sports, uh, just life. Like, she helps me with literally anything and everything. I've tried, as the dad, to re respect and understand that when the games are over, I'm dad again, not just, I'm not his coach. And what I've tried to get him to understand is that when we are sitting inside this rectangle, we're in here in this practice, I'm not dad, I'm, I'm your coach. And I think, I have to give hats off to him because as a young man and as a teenager, he's found a way to balance that. It's been tough. He gets hit hard. He gets hard, hit hard from his own peers. He gets hit hard from other parents because they think that a lot of what has happened for him is, has been given to him and it hasn't. I've never been the uh, basketball dad um, where you just you know put your, thrust your son in and play him. We talk basketball all the time. Like Our, our relationship is really built on basketball, like we, we, we could talk about basketball for hours. They're both intense, but in different ways. So Steve is a you know strategic thinker. He is the kind of person that you ask him a question, he sits with it, might take a few moments to answer, um, and then kind of gives you this wise response. Jared's like the opposite. He kind of wears his emotions on his sleeve. He's very animated and he's kind of quick with you know a reaction when things come up so the two of them they either clash or they balance each other out really well depending on the scenario jared has an interest in being a sports psychologist when his playing days are done but he and his family are excited to see how far his basketball journey goes there's so much anticipation and steve wants the best for him um, jared wants to you know make his dad proud so there's, they're sort of both putting pressure on themselves and each other. And so it's, it's, it gets intense, but it's all built on you know, a foundation of love. And to see him maturing as a young man, moving from being that teenager into being a young man and moving towards being a man has, has been a blessing to watch. And as a dad, I, maybe I don't tell him enough, but certainly I'm very, very proud of him. Thanks for visiting the Sports Stars of Tomorrow YouTube channel. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more content.